Hi guys, I'm Ed. And I'm Harry. Welcome back to GameHog's discussion on VR. Now, last week, Ed took you through the Google Cardboard system, a cheap, readily available uh, system that you can get for about £10. Uh, this week, we're going to take you through some of the experiences available on the App Store and Google Play Store. So the differences between experiences and games, as I explained in the last video, are games are something that you're more involved in, whether you're throwing a ball or whether you're driving a car, and experience is more like a roller coaster where things happen around you, on a rail, just like that. So as I said, we've been playing through some of the more popular experiences available on both app stores, and today we're going to show you some of our favourite ones. So the first one we're going to be showing you is one called Dino Trek VR. Now, Dino Trek VR is sounds literally good. just a rail experience with dinos on a trek. That sounds pretty damn good. Pretty now, good. I haven't tried this one before. This is um, Ed's one. He's been trying it out, and I'm going to experience this today for the first time. Um, so let's give it a go. Let's get cracking. Alrighty. Uh, so what phone are we going to be using for this experience? So for this, we're going to be using the Samsung Galaxy S6. The okay. reason we're using the Galaxy S6 is, as I explained in the last video, is that Samsung phones have really high specs, which means they give really decent frame rates. Well, yeah. depending on how well optimized the game is. So despite the fact that I'm saying we'll have good frame rates, we might get some bad ones, but fear not. Well, okay, it's starting up already. Goodness me. Right. So headphones on. Dive on in. I am diving in. Goodness me. Is the, is the audio actually on? Audio is working, it's looking very nice. Smash and it. I am loaded. Wow, okay. Tell me what you see. Describe so I am in a forest. I'm looking at a uh, pterodactyl, but it's very big. It's uh, walking in front of me, uh, in front of a clutch of eggs. Very cool. small. Oh my god, it just killed the little dinosaur little guy. Oh, really? <laughs> there was a little uh, dinosaur trying to steal its eggs and it nicked them. <laughs> I'm now flying in the air with said pterodactyl. It's quite, quite amazing. Frame rate is coming quite well as well. It's. Um, yeah, there's not too much lag looking around. What are the graphics like? Is it working all right? Very much so. It's Very uh, smooth. Oh god, there are some dancers running towards me. Oh, it's uh, things. Um, <laughs> they look like oh, T-Rex. T-Rex. A T-Rex. <laughs> it's quite unnerving having a T-Rex that close to your face when you're looking right at it, and you can. It's almost quite jarring. Uh, wow. Okay. T-Rex is now chasing the uh, whatever these dinosaurs are. Um, <laughs> so how are you finding having the cardboard on your face? It's not too bad at all. It's um, actually quite comfy. Yeah. Um, it's not bad at all. I mean, it fits quite tightly, um, but not too tightly. Uh, oh, what's going on now? <laughs> I must be really silly right now to you guys, but I mean, to me, the action's taking place over here. Right. And then there's some over here. Um, I'm now chasing dinosaurs. Oh, a bronchosaurus. A bronchosaurus? <laughs> no, a bronchosaurus? I, I don't know. A bronchosaurus. Um, <laughs> Diplodocus? One of the two. <laughs> One of those. It's time I learnt my sauruses. Ah, sorry, I can't see what you're seeing, so I'm kind of having to be like, ah, must be, must be quite dinosaurs! Okay, ah. I'm now running with, um, I can't think of the name of them. Diplomatosauruses? No, that's a... Triceratops? <laughs> no, it doesn't have the things on its back. Um, that's a... Stegosaurus. Right, it's over. I'm guessing. <laughs> it's over already. It was over. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to, it says, please remove your goggles. I will take them off. <laughs> you have to remove the headphones as well. Yes, I do. Okay, so how was that then? <laughs> that was good fun. Um, I could be honest, I was expecting a little more. Okay. Um, there weren't as many dinosaurs as I expected, nor did the action build to a satisfying climax. The action took place mainly in the middle of it. But that said, it was still very um, exciting, you know, being in VR, seeing dinosaurs, and being able to look around. Um, so if you'd rate that experience out of 10, roughly, what would you give it? I mean, not that it really matters what you give it, but like, what would you, what would you rate that out of 10 as an experience? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. It was, it was a good experience. Um, I imagine the next update will be a lot better. Positive. So the second one we're going to be doing, we have two more left. The second one we're going to be doing is one called In Space VR. Is that it? A time in space. A time in space VR. A time in space VR. I so this is one. This is one I've been trying myself, and I like it very much. Um, it's as you might expect, an experience through space. Um, another rail game, so you're just looking around as you're taking on a journey. But it's um, quite a nice feeling as you're going through space. So, so. I'm going to be trying this one. So let's yep. get straight on in. Go on. Go on. Okay. Here we go. A okay, time in. in space. Yes, I am. Right Lock the little blue circles inside portal for launch experience. <laughs> Loads of dots. So to explain what does that mean? <laughs> so a lot of these games uh, okay, um, wait. rely on a button you need to press to activate the experience, but some of them have an airy looking screen to activate them, which is a lot better in my opinion. That's so. pretty much what just happened to me. Yeah, oh, sorry. here we go, we're in. We're in, okay, what, what are you seeing? Uh, I'm seeing a really dodgy frame rate. <laughs> yes, yeah, sadly this one does start off with a bit of a, a laggy section. Time. But... In Time. space. Okay. It's funny seeing it from the other side. See, it's actually this is actually really despite the crap frame rate, this is actually very cool. 
What, what are you saying? So I'm looking about. Whoa! There's a giant kind of alien mushroom structure ahead of me. <laughs> That's the technical term for I'm, it. Whoa! Sorry, I'm, I'm getting really involved. So I've got these Not little probe things flying around my little Four. spaceship. Four. So what, what are you doing? Are you, you're in space right now. So yeah? There's a countdown. Wait. One. Okay, it's a countdown. Uh, okay, now we're going. Actually, this has got a, this is already a way better frame rate than what we were just having. Whoa! <laughs> What's happened? Okay, so this is, uh, we're out in space, the little probes are flying about. I'm going around this giant alien mega structure, like I said. So this one, it tends to be a lot more 360 than previous experience. Um, yeah. You can so look all I'm, the way around you and it's... I am uh, having to look around here a lot more than anywhere else. Fair enough. <laughs> but that may just be because of, whoa, where are we going now? Uh, I'm facing this way now. You need, you need to tell us, we don't know. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going, guys? Show me, little robots. Oh, okay, we're at another giant kind of alien mega little structure. <laughs> like a giant satellite, dodgy frame rates. Very dodgy frame rates. Is it bad again? Yeah. S sadly, it's... this is a limitation of Google Cardboard and smartphones. You know, it's VR technology is very advanced, so to get them onto a smartphone in itself is very exciting and impressive, but you do have to experience some lag um, at times. Oh, that's the end. Thanks for watching. Yeah, quite a short one, Matt. Yeah. Um, but what do you think? Was it, was it good, worthwhile? You enjoy that one? I thought that was good. I mean, obviously the, the frame rate issues are, are always going to be a bit of an yeah. issue. But yeah. actually, as far as an experience went, I thought that was incredibly cool. Nice. You got to see a lot of stuff. It was very colourful and vibrant mm. and... My heart's still pounding, actually, a bit. So actually, I suppose yeah, it was quite exciting. Matter. It's cool being able to look, especially even though I'm, you know, in a studio on a stool. I'm on it's a table. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, it's good to be looking about in space and seeing this, even though the frame rate's a bit mm. dodgy. Like, I really enjoyed that. Google Cardboard, not bad for that. I'd probably give that a 6.5? 6.5, less Maybe than a six. Rate. Well, wow. only because of its Harsh kind of dodge. slightly dodgy frame rate. Yeah, I'll give you that. I think what the best thing about that one is, though, it's, um, it's great for showing off the odd friend. I mean, that's yeah. what this whole thing's about, is um, you know, taking it to friend's house. It's very portable and um, just giving them an experience. Absolutely. I think that, that's a nice one to ease people into that experience. So the next experience we're going to be talking about is one called Sisters, and it's a horror experience. Now, horror yeah. experiences are the most popular thing on virtual reality systems. As you can imagine, it's things like jump scares and things like that. Yep. Things you'd see in schlocky, low-budget horror films. Um, Designed to, to scare you, just just as a fun thing. Again, it, it's all just these short, fun experiences. But because it's VR, it works even better than a crap Hollywood film. It does. Um, now, I, I'm not too fond of horror films, especially jump scares, um, so I may not look the best whilst doing this one. We'll see how it goes. Here we go. Okay. So what can you see so far? Or okay, still so a menu? this is a menu screen, and um, it has the advantage of being able to look at the option start or quit to start the whole experience. It's, it's a nice touch, that really. It uh, adds a level of interactivity that I quite enjoy. Okay. This will be a lot less scary for me. I'm literally <laughs> just kind of staring around at this space. Okay, I'm in. Um, what do you see? So I see a, uh, what looks like an empty room, uh, kind of a Victorian century house, I, I don't know. Uh, what do you want to see? Um, there's, oh God, there's a picture of an old woman behind me. Oh yeah? Something covered with a bed sheet, which, oh, that's gonna jump at me, isn't it? Oh, God. Um, yeah. There's, oh Christ, there are dolls on the, there's a there's a, a, a fireplace and there are two dolls on it. I see them. They look very very creepy. I see. Uh, oh, god. Okay. What's happened? Um, it was a uh, inverted flash and it's now night. Um, okay, I'm already uncomfortable and nervous. Uh, it's now night. Oh, one of the dolls has gone. That's unnerving. The door just opened. <laughs> it, it is unnerving. It is an unnerving experience. It's weirdly scary, Fuck. isn't it? What just happened? It was a flash of lightning. I tell you what really helps sell VR is the sound. If you can get a good pair of headphones, um, it really helps immerse you in it. Oh god! Oh, there's footsteps. Um, are there voices or anything? There's a little child singing a bit. Uh, oh, and the other doll's gone. God, that's not good. Uh, there's a uh, crows. I tell you what's quite a nice feature is um, there's there's a TV in front of me here and it's showing static. Um, Oh, it's all getting even darker now. Uh, whenever you look away from the TV, um, an image appears on it, but you can't really quite see it unless you're looking straight at it. That's quite cool. That's really cool. Kind of oh, indirect God, viewing. Little God. girls singing and there are crows everywhere. I, I know this is just going to end with some massive... Joel, oh, there's a person! Girl, the girl is there. She's not moving very fast. Okay, I can handle that. Oh, uh, she's gone! Ah! Fucking... Jesus, okay. 
That was that wasn't nice. What just happened there? Oh, the doll's on the floor. Oh, and the it's a face. It's a face on the TV. It's getting closer and closer. Right. And uh, one of the puppets is now on the floor. She looks dead. That's a nerding. The lights come on. Okay, it's not so bad now. That's not bad at all. All right. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Is that is that the end or is there still I, I don't more? know. There's it's still going, but nothing. Oh, the window's open. Good. That explains why there was wind. Let a breeze in. Yeah. It the gets thing hot. Is, it's still covered up with the blankets. I'm glad that didn't jump out at me. Um, nice. This isn't going to end well, is it? It's going to do one massive jump scare. It's a end. horror experience, so I'd like to think so, yeah. There's lightning still. Girl storm the floor, that's good. As long as I can watch her there, that's fine. Um, TV stopped doing its thing. Oh, that doesn't bode well, does it? It never bodes well, no. Lightning, lightning. Whenever technology in a horror film is acting up, you know things are going wrong. I'm glad to put this light in the- ah! <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that was so violent, it knocked the phone <laughs> out of the holder. <laughs> Shit. So we know that was a- that was a particularly- Is your phone okay? My phone's fine, but we're aware that that was a particularly <laughs> scary- What happened at the end there? I- I- shall I- shall I spoil it? <laughs> well, go, you might as well. What happened? Um, so you're on the sofa and it's all like, you think, okay, it's fine, it's just false insecurity. Then there's another strike of lightning, you look to your left and there's a little girl sitting next to you, like right here, looking towards you and you just- Oh, no, not- no, no. So it's obviously not, pretty scary. Not my thing. Not my thing. I'll, I'll give that an eight. Push wow. an eight point five. So horror games and horror experiences are the best things to do on VR because it immerses you so well yeah. that you're convinced that everything's real, which makes it a way better experience. Rather than the dinosaur things and the space things, while they're great, they're fun. Horror is where it's at. Horror is a good one to scare mates with, I guess. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I know there are a lot of studios doing horror titles for the Oculus and for the Vive and all those kind of things because they are what people want to see, I guess. Exactly. I, I need I need to lie down. <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> right, so guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. You've seen what an experience looks like on a Google Cardboard running on a Samsung S6. Well worth purchase. They're only about £10 off Amazon. There are different types available. We thoroughly recommend it. And there are lots more experiences to try in the App Store and the Google Play Store. There are also games, which we'll be covering in our next video. So guys, if you've enjoyed this, leave us a like and a subscribe because it does help the channel out. And also, make sure you check out the next video when it's finished. And we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Meet your maker! Yes! Taste my bow! Oh, God. And my axe. A uh, prop from a film starring Bruce Willis. Quite an old film. Uh, Die Hard? Uh, no, um, it's got a woman with very strange uh, ginger hair in it. Um, Jurassic World? No, sci-fi theme.